What up everybody, it's me, Blake316, with a new episode of I Got Game. This is going to be episode 29 of all my recent video game pickups. And I'm telling you right now, in this video, I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Because I got tons of variety from all different consoles, all different video game generations, to tons of rare games that I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm really excited. I think you guys are going to like what I got. But let me get straight into it. Now the first game, I'm going to be honest, you guys are probably not going to like what I got. Guy. But you know what? I went out and I bought it because you know what? I seen a lot of bad reviews on it. People were bashing it and hating on it. And for some reason, me in particular, it was just interesting to me and I wanted to play it. And it was Ghostbusters on the Xbox One. Tons of people were bashing this game. I don't know, maybe because people were already bashing the movie. And for me, the game looked interesting and I wanted to play it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I played the game. I beat the game and I absolutely like the game. It's not going to be my game of the year or nothing, but I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase of the game. And I like it a lot. Ghostbusters for the Xbox One. Um, people were questioning me why did I buy this game. I did a few videos on why I bought the game and I gave a, a video on my impressions. I just like the game. The gameplay is just something different than what I've been playing lately. And you know what? I liked it. And like I said, no regrets for me. I'm not going to go out and suggest people to buy this game because not everyone has the same gaming taste as me. But I liked the game. I picked it up. And I definitely have no regrets buying Ghostbusters on the Xbox One. Another game that I picked up that I'm going to be honest with you, I've never played before. And people are going to be like, Blake, how have you never played this game? How can you call yourself a gamer? Blah, blah, blah. Let me explain. And I picked up Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox 360. Now, let me explain why I never played this game. I never played this game because at the time, I was personally burnt out on open world games. Just like I'm burnt out on first person shooter games right now. Which is probably why I like that Ghostbusters game so much. But I still haven't played it. It's still sealed. I never even opened it yet. Um, what got me interested in the game now is that, as you, people may know, the game is now uh, has backwards uh, compatibility on the Xbox One. And I said, you know what? Let me see what this hype is all about. I finally picked up a copy. By the way, I picked up the Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition, which includes the Red Dead Redemption game as well as the Undead Nightmare uh, DLC. So I'm going to see if this game is worth all the hype. I picked it up brand new for, I believe, $21.99. Uh, can't, can't complain about that price tag. But I picked up Xbox uh, 360 Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition. Hopefully it lives up to that hype. <laughs> now, another game that I picked up that I've never played. It was kind of crazy because this game was released on the PS2. It was released on the GameCube. It was released on the Wii. Numerous other versions of this game was released. And you can probably guess what it is. And it is Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 4. Now, I picked up this game. Um, honestly, I guess I just never had any interest to play it. Because, like I said, it's been released on so many di different uh, generations. Um, so I can't really say at the time. I just had no interest. Um, a lot of people say this is their favorite Resident Evil game of the series. My, me personally, I really like Resident Evil 2. I have it on Nintendo 64, played it, beat it, blah, blah, blah. But um, I don't know. This game was released for 1999. I was like, you know what? I can't really miss on that price tag, and it's definitely time to try out this game. Definitely interests me. Out of all the re-releases, like Resident Evil Five and Six, I didn't buy those. I did buy Resident Evil Four. Um, but like I said, I hope it's worth. I hope it's worth the hype. You know, if it's not, it's cool. It's only nineteen ninety nine. But I think I'm gonna like this game. I haven't played a Resident Evil game in a long time. So I got Resident Evil Four for the PlayStation Four. Uh, another game that had very mixed reviews. Some reviews were mad hype. Other people saying it was trash. And you know what? I was interested in the game, but for some reason, I didn't want to spend the money on the game. But finally, the game hit a price tag that I couldn't pass up on. And it is Doom for the Xbox One. Now, this game, um, a lot of people are saying it's amazing. It's one of the best games they played in so, such a long time. They were so happy that it got released. And some people were just saying it's trash. It's trash. Excuse me. It's generic. It's nothing special. Now, with that being said... I was on a limb. I was like, do I want to spend the money on the game? Do I not want to spend the money on the game? I didn't want to spend $59.99 on the game. I didn't want to spend uh, $49.99. I came close to spending $39.99. But then I bought this game. I seen it on sale for $19.99. And I was like, you know what? I can't pass up on that price. I have to have this game. And I'm going to be honest with you. The first time I played the campaign, it was eh. It was okay. I beat the first level. Then I went on to play it again. It was 
good. It was, it was, I beat the second level, it was a lot better. But where this game really shines for me is in the multiplayer. The multiplayer, in my opinion, is tons of fun. I haven't had this much fun in a first person shooter game online multiplayer in quite some time. I'm really, really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I'm just having a lot of fun. And because of that, I'm not regretting the purchase. The multiplayer is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend playing this Doom multiplayer. It's fast paced. It's nothing over the top. Basic basic weapons. No one's jetpacking. No one's uh, wall riding. None of that crazy stuff. It's just a lot of fun. And like I am said, I'm like laughing when I'm playing it. I'm smiling when I'm playing it because it's just a fun game. Picked up Doom for the Xbox One. Now let's get on to some uh, old school retro games. Um, some rare games. Now this game is not particularly rare, but it's definitely an old school game. And the game is Batman Returns for the GameCube. Now you might be wondering, uh, Blake, why did you pick that up? And I have to say, why not? <laughs> but honestly, I was on a been on YouTube to search in old video games, and I was searching like Batman video games and whatnot. And this is uh, said to be one of the better uh, Batman games that have ever been released. Uh, it's kind of like the Arkham Knight where it's a 3D open environment, open world. You can ride the Batmobile, etc. And the graphics don't look too bad. And it's a really, uh, it's, they say it's a really good game. Like if you look up top uh, Batman games, this is one of the games that comes out. I have yet to play it. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing it. It's Batman Begins on the Nintendo GameCube. Now, another game that I picked up is definitely a rare game. Uh, a lot of people uh, really, uh, a lot of people believe this is one of the better RPGs ever made. And it is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, this game is released pretty much towards the end of the uh, Super Nintendo era before right before the Nintendo 64 era started so a lot of people didn't get to play this game but a lot of people play feel this is definitely one of the top RPGs top five RPGs on the Super Nintendo and like I said one of the better RPGs out ever um, and this game was actually just re-released on the Nintendo eShop so a lot of people got are lucky enough to play it that way but me I wanted a physical copy of the game and I picked it up for the Super Nintendo uh, this game is an old school RPG uh, with Mario characters. It looks pretty damn good for a Super Nintendo game and I'm definitely excited and happy to have it in my collection. It's definitely a rare game. Uh, there was never a sequel to it. There, people are still hoping for a sequel. Who knows if that will ever happen. It's a collaboration between uh, Nintendo and Square. Uh, but it's Super Mario RPG uh, Legend of the Seven Stars. Definitely a rare game, guys. Another game that I picked up, like I said, I was looking up Batman games on the internet and this is not necessarily a rare hard to find but it is kind of I don't even want to say a hidden gem but it is Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo now this is definitely uh, if you look up a lot of Super Nintendo videos this is definitely one of the most underrated because people think it's a it's a it's a movie game it's not that good but it's definitely one of the top Super Nintendo beat em up games there is it's definitely in the top 10 top 5 Batman video games there is um, and it's definitely one of the top beat em ups there is it's a Batman side school and beat em up beat em up all oh, the visuals look great in this game uh, it's just a, a really good uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up game, and it's Batman Returns. Uh, like I said, I went on this Batman kit where I wanted all these Batman games, and I got this, Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo. Now, another rare game that I have to show you guys, like I said, I'm on this old-school stuff right now. It is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Now, this game is awesome. Like, if you never played this game, I definitely suggest you play it. I remember playing this at my cousin's house. It was a lot of fun, and I said, you know what? I want this copy for myself, and I picked it up. It's an old school Super Nintendo game uh, where basically you have to protect the human society from killer zombies. It's definitely a challenging hard game. It has about 55 levels, but if you have another person to play with the co-op, it is tons of fun. Man, it's a definitely a rare game, and I'm definitely happy to have this in my collection. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, like if you can't get the physical copy try emulating it i don't know do what you got to do check out some videos it's a lot of fun zombies ate my neighbors another rare game like i said there's tons of rare games in this video is teenage mutant ninja turtles for turtles in time for the super nintendo now this game is arguably like one of the best uh ninja turtles games ever uh top 10 super nintendo game uh 
best uh, beat em up game ever. Like this game is has a lot of people's opinions as being one of the better games ever created. I remember playing this game at my cousin's house, and I remember just coming off this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 arcade as being a great game, and this game is even better. Um, it's a rare game, a lot of fun. Uh, it's an old school beat em up where the turtles, you know, obviously are trying to save New York, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo, definitely another rare uh, Super Nintendo game, but it's also awesome. Now, probably the rarest game that I have in this video, like I said, I was bringing out those rare games, is The Adventures of Batman and Robin for the Super Nintendo. This is a highly uh, rare slash valuable game. Um, reason why people love this game is it's another Batman beat em up but it's also from the animated series. Uh, if you guys remember the animated Batman back in the days from the 90s, this looks just like the cartoon. It looks that good. It's a huge, uh, it's a, a side-scrolling beat-em-up that looks like the old-school cartoon that everyone loves. And this is a very highly uh, looked-after, wanted game by a lot of people. Um, like I said, I just went on this Batman kick where I was looking up Batman video games and... Uh, this was definitely high on a lot of people's lists, and it's definitely high on a lot of rare Super Nintendo lists. Uh, but I got it. <laughs> the Adventures of Batman vs. Superman. I'm glad to have this on my collect in my collection. Another rare game that I got. But as you can see, tons, tons, tons of variety in this video. Tons of rare games in this video. It's like so many games, I can't even hold them all in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to put them in my hands now to possibly show you guys. But it's just hard to do. <laughs> it's just real. Oh, I'm dropping them, and that was my turtles in time. <laughs> but it's me, Blake316. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. I'm going to continue with these recent pickup videos. So make sure to subscribe for, uh, subscribe for more. Until next time, peace.